Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Allie. If you're new here, I upload beauty Bible and lifestyle. So if any of those interests you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. All right, so for today's video, you guys, I just wanted to go ahead and share with you guys my 2022 goals. Um, these are going to be my personal goals. These are not goals that Brian and I have together. Like I said in my fasting video, he has his goals. I have my goals. He has his prayers and like I have my prayers. And then we have things that we obviously do together because we are still two separate people. <laughs> So yeah, but I just did want to go ahead. So I have like my fasting stuff and my and our, and our goals. And this one right here, this is just a little um, notebook that I found at Ross for four bucks. And it just says um, Proverbs thirty one twenty five. She is clothed with, st with strength and dignity and laughs without fear of the future. And so yeah, I did want to go ahead and share with you guys. So I break it up into short term, mid term, and long term. So basically what I want to accomplish within the first four months of the year, what I want to accomplish within the next five to eight months in the year and then of the year and then the next nine to 12 months of the year. Like this is kind of a timeline and kind of helps me out. Sometimes things can happen sooner, like sometimes long terms can happen during the short term. And I mean, these are just when I would like to have stuff done. But overall, these are my goals for the year. So we're going to start with my short term goals. My short term goals are to be to be a little more focused on my social media platforms, including YouTube. So really just hone in on like focusing and dedicating time to do work for that. Um, I know it's so hard to call something work whenever you don't get paid for it. Like that's already one of my biggest struggles as a stay at home mom is like recognizing work as work because I don't get paid for it. So just really be more focused on even like the social media aspect of things and just being more You'll, you'll see it's, it's a common theme throughout my goals but um yeah like that's just to, just to put in more effort and in, in my on my platforms um i i've been doing this but I, there are days that i skipped it that i that i have skipped it within the last year and that is to always 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 start my day with jesus whether it be listening to my pro to my proverbs chapter of the day or whether it be sitting down and actually having the time to do my read and write the word but for sure at least either you know like for sure at least just praying to him praying to him or if i do have time to sit down and do the read and write the word but in some aspect making sure that i spend at least 10 to 15 minutes of my morning starting the day with him um i really want to focus on more quality time with the boys um I feel like, you know, like I'm already pretty much involved because I am a stay at home mom, but because I am a stay at home mom and a lot of my work involves me being at home, I can tend to get more wrapped up in that rather than just taking the time to like sit down with the boys or go in the room and play with them with toys or do a puzzle with them. Like I can get really wrapped up in just the housework aspect of things. And so and especially now since we're homeschooling, I got to be really, really careful to not allow homeschool homeschooling to be like quality time and really hone in on like just taking the time to even if it's going to take time out of me working like taking that that hour and a half to like sit down and watch a movie with them or go outside with them or just something like that um <clears throat> my next short term one is to be on top of homeschooling so i actually got to do this today but i need it like every sunday and like making sure i'm writing down what lessons they're on for the week printing out all of their work for the week on sundays and like not letting it fall behind so just to be on top of that, like that is one of my goals. And then I really want to start a prayer list every day um, of just things that I notice that people say or like problems or things like that. And I really want to make it a point to pray specifically servants prayers over everyone in my life and like over things that people ask me to pray over them for. So that and that's going to be a part of my always starting the day with Jesus is to start it off by praying for other people more than I pray for myself, but also not forgetting myself. And definitely a short term, um, a better sleep schedule. Ever since the wreck, um, I haven't been able to go to sleep before midnight. And last night was actually the first night I went to sleep at midnight since the wreck. Um, the other nights I have not been going to sleep until like three or four o'clock in the morning. So I really want to get back into a better sleep schedule, even if that means I have to go buy some melatonin or really take just start drinking my teas. But um, yeah, I really, really want to get into a better sleep schedule. So now we are into my midterm. Okay, so short term for social media was for me to focus more on 
my social media platform. So my first midterm goal is to start planning out social media content. And when I say that, I typically mean like just YouTube videos. So to plan out my YouTube videos because TikToks and things like that, I'll kind of just go with the trends or I'll kind of just randomly record a TikTok and then I share that to Instagram. So those are kind of one and the same. You know, I've tried being the take pictures blogger type Instagram and like that just, I don't know, like it doesn't work for me. Like I'm not very photogenic. I'm not good at taking pictures of random things in an aesthetically pleasing way. So reels are what works best for me. So TikTok and Instagram right now are just kind of like one in the same for me. Um, release, my second thing is to learn to release all control to God. Um, and I put this as a midterm because I feel like the more that I start my day with Jesus, the more I'll be able to release my day to him. And so one of my midterm goals is just to learn to release all control to him because I don't know, as a woman, I feel like I just kind of have so much control. So release all control to God is kind of like a midterm goal for me. And then for myself, um, and this just kind of goes along with the boys, is to be more patient and more graceful. Like... In all aspects towards everyone, even my husband, is just always to be more patient and more graceful towards them. Um, a midterm is to stick to a healthy diet slash, slash lifestyle. So it's never hard for me to work out. I actually enjoy working out and I'm really bummed right now because my body is still really sore from the wreck. So I haven't been able to work out, but I'm going to try to get into it tomorrow um regardless because i just need to work out but to maintain like healthy diet like it's all i've been doing lately is like cutting like managing how much unhealthy food i eat but i would really love to make alternatives and really stick to eating healthy and i figured the first of the year is the best time to start since we go on a fast at the beginning of every year anyways so my midterm is to be sure that i'm still sticking to that diet that i started at the beginning of the year um, this does not mean that I will remain vegetarian, though. <laughs> um, my next one is to start an online Bible study or prayer group. So I did mention in my fast, like, this is something that I want to do once a week as a part of the fast. And I'm hoping that maybe I can carry it through and, like, kind of do, like, a Bible study group live. And like I said, I just, I just don't know what platform I would do that on because, like, my following isn't very active. Like, I have a good amount of followers. They're just not very interactive with anything, so I wouldn't know where to do it. Um, but it is something that I really want to start. And like I said, this is like between April and August. So anywhere in that time, I would love to get like a real Bible study. Um, I want to start taking more pictures of just like every day, like me with the boys, me with Brian, my family, start spending more time with my family and taking pictures in those moments. I get really wrapped up on let's just live in the moment, but just so much stuff happened last year where I have seen the importance of recording little snippets or just spending time with like taking the pictures to create the mem that create memories and so I really want to start taking more pictures this year um, long term is to get monetized on at least one social media platform so whether that be Instagram whether that be freaking TikTok or whether that be YouTube like I really by the time like you know like we're in September to December it's, I really want to be monetized by that time so that requires me doing the first two things um my first two goals of the year and then um I have a ton of Bible study books outside of BSF, outside of Read and Write the Word, outside of my Proverbs. Um, I just haven't started one yet because they're all packed away for us to move. But um, I really want to finish two of those Bible study books this year. So I obviously have to start. And so as soon as we're moved next week, um, I'm going to pull one out and start it. But I really want to finish two Bible study um, books that I have. Um, for health, I really want to lose 50 pounds this year. Last year, I lost 41 pounds. So I am very certain that I could lose 50 pounds this year. And, you know, like, we are going to get there together. I hope that you guys join me along for the ride. But 50 pounds is what I would like to lose. And that's probably where I want to stay. Like, I don't want to get any smaller. I feel like I'd look like a Bratz doll with a big head and a tiny body. So... Maybe I won't even want to lose 50, but 50 sounds like a good number because I know that I can lose 41. What's nine more pounds? So we're going to see. Um, one long term. Oh, I don't know if I told y'all we're in the long term goals, but I really want to go back to counseling. It was really helpful. And especially after the wreck and like. Just a lot of mental, th I'm really fighting back tears right now. Just a lot of mental things that I've been battling with and that I've been going through. Like, I really, really want to get back to counseling right now. It's just not financially financially feasible until we're in our house. So, I don't know. Maybe once we're settled in our home and we're going to see, like, what all the bills and stuff look like. 
um i can start in march maybe so i don't know maybe we'll see i want to be more present as a wife and mom so be more in the moment i'm someone where i tune out a lot or like i'm randomly like staring off into space and like i'm just not ever actually present i don't know if it's like a trauma thing i don't know if it's an overstimulation thing i don't know if it's just an overwhelmed thing but whenever we're trying to spend time together as a family like i'm not there like like my body's there but mentally like i'm not there like i just check out and i would really love to get to a point where i am more present and my last one is personal for me like because i do babysit and i do uber eats um i want to start saving 50 dollars per week um, putting that into a savings account or into an envelope or something and I realized that 50 saving $50 a week amounts to $2,600 a year which amounts to $78,000 in 30 years when I can retire so I don't know when God's coming back but I think combined with Brian's retirement plan if I save just the like $50 a week of you know like extra money that I can make and this could increase next year but right now we're starting small because this is all I got but saving $50 a week the next 30 every week for the next 30 years i could retire with almost eighty thousand dollars and we'll just combine that with brian's retirement and i think we should be good but like i said i don't know when god is coming back but it's better to prepare than to not be prepared so yeah you guys um and another one that's just more of a mental note for me is to start using my planner more um i bought this planner and first of all i've had it for a while now since november i think was it september or november Okay, yeah, so I've had it since November, and I didn't even know that it had stickers and stuff in it, but I really just want to start using my planner more and just be more, like, in tune with everything, so I did go ahead and fill out the month for, start filling out the month for January, and then, like, these highlights right here, it's a good way also for me to stay on top of homeschooling, of knowing what lessons the boys are on, and then I need to print out for the week. So yeah, so this is really helpful for me. I'll be doing this on Saturdays and then on Sundays I'll get like all the homeschool work and stuff together. So yeah, that is everything that I want to start doing better this year um, and just working on myself this year and growing myself. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys come along for the ride. Stay with me for the ride. Hold me accountable for the year. And yeah, I love you guys. But always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you have not already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.